Hello, I'm Georgie and welcome to Tech World, your quick roundup of the top technology news stories from across the globe. For this episode's Hot Topic interview, we spoke with Michael von der Geest from EY about how companies can benefit from digital innovation. First though, here are your top international news stories. A strain of ransomware called WannaCry infected upwards of 120,000 computers across the world this month. A cybersecurity researcher found a way to put a stop to the malicious software spreading, but it seems the attackers are trying to find a way to resurrect it. Facebook was fined 110 million euros by the EU for providing misleading information about its 2014 takeover of WhatsApp. Facebook told the Commission in 2014 that it would not be able to link WhatsApp phone numbers with Facebook users' identities, but went on to do exactly that. Uber is to pay New York City drivers tens of millions of dollars after admitting to underpaying them for two and a half years. The ride-hailing service had been taking a larger cut of drivers' fares than it was entitled. SoftBank held the first close of its massive Vision Fund at $93 billion in committed capital. This news comes seven months after the Japanese telecom giant announced the tech fund's formation. According to the Financial Times, electronics giant Sharp committed $1 billion to the fund. Nokia finally released the new version of its 3310 handset in the UK for the princely sum of £49.99. The retro device features a battery that lasts for a month on standby, the classic game Snake, my favourite, and it weighs just 79.6 grams. That's it for our top global tech news roundup, but keep watching to see this episode's Hot Topics interview. We spoke with Michael von der Geese from EY about how companies can benefit from digital innovation. Michael, thank you so much for joining us. So digital innovation is something that we hear about a lot, but I want to know specifically, how do small and medium-sized businesses make money from digital innovation? I think there's a lot of opportunity. It's such a vast topic at the moment, but I really section this up into three areas. The first one is business to consumer, retail-like propositions. Frankly, I find that that area is flooded. Mm -hmm. The second area is areas like Internet of Things, those machine-to-machine -machine relationships. I think that has an opportunity, but the time horizons for monetizing feel a bit distant for me. Yeah. What we're working a lot in and what we're seeing significant opportunities is the business-to-business -business space to create a consumer-like proposition in those markets. So within that business-to-business -business space, what opportunities are you specifically seeing companies come across? If I give you an example of that, one thing I would think about is a work that we did with one of our clients, Informa. They were a business and events business that were looking to use digital to transform their customer proposition around sales, marketing and their product. Yeah. And what we did is we worked with them and we brought together an ecosystem of real specialists in and around digital delivery, consumption models, marketing techniques. And we were able to pull that together in what we term an ecosystem. Working with brands like EY, that enable us to deliver truly customer-centric digital transformations at pace and able to monetize that for clients and for tech companies. What is stopping businesses from engaging with digital innovation when there are so many advantages? What are the barriers of entry there? Again, I'd kind of almost say there's, there's, there's two sides of this, and I think what we're seeing is small, agile, startup-like innovators who are real digital natives struggle to enter that business enterprise space. They don't have the relationships, and they don't understand quite how the mechanics and the politics of selling work. I think you've then got large organisations very well used to helping and supporting their clients in transformations who maybe don't really bring that lean, innovation, digital ethos to bear. And I think the, the, the real opportunity is you've got to know what you are and bring the other partners in. So it sounds like you have two different mindsets there and if you marry them together and add some digital innovation into the mix, you can actually end up with a real business opportunity there. Absolutely. Michael, thank you so much. Thank you. That's all for this episode. To get more top tech news straight to your inbox, visit techcitynews.com forward slash subscribe.